Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmisano here. Hope you're doing well out there. This one is for our brother in guitar, Eric Gales, and his wife, LaDonna. It was brought to my attention by a subscriber, a uh, friend, Jordan, uh, who said that he and his wife are both in the hospital, and they're um, actually so bad, a GoFundMe page was opened for them. So I've donated, and the link is, will be in the description. Always feels good to pay it forward. Uh, you know, you never feel like you shouldn't have hit the button when you do. So please consider doing so uh, if you can. So I figured today would be the perfect day to do the most requested tune on YouTube, email, Instagram, and even on my website. Uh, as you can see uh, on my Reacts Requests page, three different people, you know, from June, July, and then September have uh, requested John Gom Passion Flower. Ricky, Luke, and Dan. So I've seen a piece of this, excuse me, because it's been requested again on our Tuesday Night Lives. Um, and I've been waiting to do this, and today just felt like the right day. So I know there's a lot going on here. I know there's a lot of different tunings, lots of rhythmic Tommy Emmanuel stuff. So we're going to take this in more than try to learn it note for note, that's for sure. But, uh... <laughs> I have been assured that, uh, you know, this is one of the best guitar performances on YouTube. So I'm excited to watch it in its entirety. So without further ado, this is John Gom, Passion Flower. And uh, Eric, I hope you and your wife get better very soon. You're one of my favorite players right now. Cheers. Oh, it's so killer. So we're E flat, we're E flat, the neighborhood of E flat, and it looks like he's tuning the second string, or the first and second string are getting moved. So the third, up to a sharp four, is that what's happening? Nah, he's pushing, he's pushing through to the fifth. Not really, he's like almost getting there. It's like giving it that kind of, uh, that, that Eastern flair. Very wild, let's keep going.
mixing major and minor in here. So he's moving those bass, bass notes again. He, he's tuned to an, e, an open E flat, some type of tuning, right? But you hear him go from a four to a five and then a flat three back up to the four to the five. But what's so cool to watch is, well, one, the timing is probably the most impressive thing. Being able to hold the beat like that and get not just tap harmonics, you know, like the, you know, but then getting like the, the actual pinch ones, which I, I've never been able to really get right, which is where you put your finger over where you want the harmonic to ring out and then, you know, right? So you, with your thumb, you push and then you get your finger to let the harmonics ring out. Again, never something I've, I've, I've actually ever even tried to get good at, but never been able to. But then to get the tuning and then have it bring it back down and then with the beat, it's, those technique, techniques by themselves are extremely impressive, but doing it with this sense of time is very cool. And I love the Middle Eastern, uh, uh, you know, just the, the, the flair, you know? It, it's got that, it's got that vibe to it for me. Let's keep going. I love that little lead-in that he does before uh, the chorus each time. That ba -da -ba -da, right? Uh, what note is he going to? Is it a leading tone, major seventh? You reach for the Watch his, watch his ring finger. Watch his ring finger going through that, where he's always pulling off there. I know there's a lot happening, but the ring finger is, is really incredible on his, on his right hand.
That's pretty great. Um, you know, I, I don't want to misspeak, um, but clearly, clearly I haven't learned this. Clearly this is a reaction, right? But it's like, it's, it's like a Middle Eastern Lydian, you know, kind of like, you know, it's got, it's, it's that sharp four thing, but then he's mixing both major and minor in the bass notes. It's, it's in the neighborhood of E flat. Um, but the, the precision, the precision with the rhythm and his timing is really nuts. It's really nuts. And, and like, I was really watching. I, I don't really think he missed one of those damn harmonics. Both the taps and the, um, I don't even know the name of that type of harmonic. If you know, drop it in the comments. I've heard it before, I just can't remember. Um, like violins, no, it's not, it's, anyway. Uh, or a harp style. Um, I don't think he missed any of them. And he had the perfect amount of juice on the, on the guitar to make it feed back like that. Like when it just, it just bled through. Um, and I love just the melody just goes up to that sharp four and kind of hangs like that. Uh, it's really wild. Um, and the sounds on his actual guitar, I don't know if he's got internal mics. It looks like there's some tape and some, some contact mics on there. But having different areas of the guitar have different sounds and, and having the kick, the snare, the scratches, the retuning, he, he never seemed to miss any of the tuning going back and forth, nailing all the harmonics, and singing, doing it solo. Tempo never seemed to change. Um, really, 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 really impressive. I can see, I can see why this was, um, I mean, it has to be the most requested thing since I've started this channel. So there you go, John Gom, Passion Flower. Dude, outstanding. And uh, to all of you that recommended it, thank you so much. And thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, for liking, and continue to do recommendations, whether it's here in YouTube or like Dan did on my website. And if you're looking uh, for online guitar lessons or you just want to join a community of people who are passionate about music, picking the thing up, trying to get better, I really hope you'll consider clicking the first link in the description and joining over, me over and my website at guitargate.com. And also, if you can donate, please donate to Eric Gales and his wife. That link is also in the description. Cheers, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.